<laughs> Last time Morgan astonished us with his baby squid, a classic Pierre Coffin pig trotter variation, and a stunning dessert. That's sexy. We know Morgan's capable of a great deal, so we've sent him a challenge that we hope will fire his imagination. Oh, something now, you want me to use everything here? Uh, if you want to, yeah, sure. Morgan's task is to combine the chicken and the fish. Now I'm putting the snapper in the middle of this dish because that's what requires the gentlest cooking. Normally we'd dock Morgan points for using a microwave, but it's clear he doesn't use it often enough to know how it works. <laughs> Coconut cream in the pot for flavour, coriander root, and the corn gets a good roasting. Now Morgan's first shortcut, slicing the capsicum without removing the skin. This is turning into a farce. He's made what they call a farce, which is a combination of the egg yolks, a little bit of flour. To his credit, he's reduced down his coconut milk. And with the coriander root and the other aromatics, i.e. the chives, he's done it correctly. So the chopped chicken goes on the glad wrap. The fish goes on top, and Morgan turns it into something resembling a Christmas cracker. It's like a little Christmas present. So buttering the phyllo pastry, ready to surround the chicken mousse, Morgan's playing a dangerous game. He's gambling that when the phyllo's cooked, so will the chicken and the fish inside. 14 minutes, uh, Morgan. I'm fairly confident that that's going to be cooked in 14 minutes. You're the first one to do that. Cook it like this. Keeps, the, keeps all the moisture, keeps the goodness. Keeps it real. I'm intrigued the fact that uh, he's got 11 minutes. Chicken mousse around, or chicken farce around his fish. I have to eat it. If it's not cooked, it's no good. Morgan's accentuating presentation. Three little dots of salsa, the vegetables inside, and the touch test on the chicken, fish, and phyllo. Morgan has his heart in his mouth. And then... Guess what? It's not cooked. Oh. Bugger. I can't eat it. The fish is raw. What a blow. A little bit too ambitious. It saddens me because all this work he's put into it, I can't actually physically give him a mark. Apart from the fact that his working methods were very good, he's a technician, he's a chef. And I, I consider that a huge compliment coming from Rick. He might have been short of time to achieve perfection, but there's no doubt at all, Morgan deserves a place at boot camp. But I'd like to say, welcome, you're in boot camp. Brilliant. Do you want to win? Absolutely. And he just might. Next up, Chris cooks our magic box while he also cooks breakfast for Blenheim. And we meet Robin, who struggles with stress. It's looking very good at the moment. Rob? Yeah, thank you. Thank you.